All right, so I have my hole here. Now I'm just going to carefully undo this, turn it upside down, and plop it right in, just like that. Jacob here with Saracenia Northwest. Five years ago, I did a video about converting this bathtub into a bog garden. Last year, we took the garden apart because the original plants had grown large enough for division. In this video, I'm going to reassemble the bog garden, but with a different Saracenia. The plant I'm choosing is Judith Hindle. It's one of my favorite Saracenia hybrids. Its pitches are red with a ruffled hood. It's of medium height, not too tall and not too short. It also forms a very uniform clump. And the best part is that it produces these nice pitches from early season into late season. It's one of the very few Saracenia that produces these nice pitches throughout the entire growing season making it a wonderful plant for the first time grower. This clump is about 15 years old. If you watched my video of unpotting rock gardens, this plant was one of the plants that I salvaged. It's recovered beautifully and produced a nice set of flowers. We covered several flowers with these little satchels because we hand pollinated them for a specific hybrid and we didn't want insects contaminating the cross. If you saw my previous video about this bathtub, you might recall that I created a reservoir of water in the tub. I did that by adhering a PVC coupler around the drain hole to create a water reservoir of a few inches. This reservoir is useful to increase the amount of soil that is constantly moist, which is useful during the hot summer months. Now, one of the worries I had about this reservoir was having stagnant water in the tub. Stagnant water in soil is often a breeding ground for anaerobic bacteria, which can weaken plants. But after we disassembled the garden, we didn't see any signs of anaerobic bacteria. If there were a problem, the soil would have had a funky odor, almost like rotten eggs. Instead, the soil had a very clean, earthy scent, so that meant it was still healthy. We even used the leftover soil to repot some of our mother plants in the nursery. The original plants also grew very large and have since been divided, and many of those divisions went to new homes this past spring. So, this design feature is safe to use. To reassemble this ball garden, we're going to do the same procedure as before. A layer of coarse perlite on the bottom, cover the drain hole with a screen, and fill the rest of the tub with a 50-50 mix of peat moss and perlite. So I have the soil in, now comes the fun part. And that is trying to put this plant into the tub. Uh, with, and I'm going to keep a lot of the soil around the roots because the soil is still good. Anyway, what I have to do is dig out a hole that matches the volume of that bin. All right, so I have my hole here. Now I'm just going to carefully undo this, turn it upside down and plop it right in, just like that. Whew. <laughs> that was scary. Anyway, get rid of this bin. This bin had a crack on the bottom, which served as a drain hole uh, for this plant. Uh, sometimes we use leftover bins like this uh, for that purpose. Uh, but that, those bins are what we use to mix soil in. Uh, I'm gonna smooth this out. I think I have sufficient soil in here. It's at the level I like. Now I have a lot of room left over and I'm going to fill it up with even more Judith Hindle. So this is a cell plug of Judith Hindle starts. Uh, these were cloned in a lab and sometimes we get these starts and we mature them out for a year. All these starts are about a year old and they're ready for new homes, but I'm gonna use them to place around this mother plant. So this large mother plant is gonna have, be surrounded by her babies here, so to speak. And I think it's gonna look really nice. Okay, I have all the plants in spaced as evenly as I can. I might have put too many in, but if any of them get too large in the next year or so, I can always thin them out. So in a way, this garden will be a source for more plants down the road. 
Now the next step is to place some decorative pea gravel over the soil as a top dressing to prevent soil erosion during heavy rains and especially when we want to top water. Now one final tip about using pea gravel. Avoid the crowns of the plant, the area where new leaves come up. Just put the pea gravel around the plant. If you want more information about other types of top dressing you can use, watch our video on the topic. You can find the link in the description below. Now after placing the pea gravel, I'm going to water the bathtub to saturate the soil as much as I can. Now to complete this tub, I need to divert the drain water. The drain hole is right here. I need to divert the drain water away. In the past, we had just let it drain right there. But the problem was that over time, the ground got saturated and the uh, bathtub started leaning. Uh, so we had to actually remove the tub, dig underneath, put a layer of gravel down, and then put the platform back. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place this gutter right under the drain hole. I got some bricks to elevate it and the water is going to drain into the saucer. In the saucer I'm going to put a potted plant, probably a clumping bamboo or a vining jasmine. I think both would be appropriate in this location. It gets lots of full sun and gets kind of hot too, uh, especially with this uh, fence right here. But um, the water will drain here and overflow on this side and keep the water away from the bathtub. So that's the final touch for this. So you got to see me complete this ball garden from start to finish. And you got to see how easy it is to build a ball garden. And I hope that inspires you to build your own, whether it's out of a bathtub or maybe out of an old wheelbarrow that you're no longer using. I also have two other bathtubs I'll be completing and I'll make videos of them because I'll be putting in different plants. I also plan to feature this bathtub in upcoming monthly care videos. That way you can see how these plants progress as the months go by. So make sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in another video.